Podcast. Mike's Daily Podcast. Hello, my friend. Welcome to my daily podcast that never ends. It's been going on since 2011. And this is F- F- episode 1600. 1,600. I thought I was going to name today's show Momentous because whenever I reach one of these zero zeros sh- episode shows, I have to come up with some kind of big name. Mike's Daily Podcast. I think I used Milestone. I used Landmark. And so here we go with Momentous. Mike's Daily Podcast. And I don't even know what that word means. I'm not very smart. I like to go to the store and get a cart and push it around and scream. Anarchy! I don't even know what that means, but I love it. That's how I roll. And I love it, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Mike's Daily Podcast. I love how at the end, Molly Shannon doesn't even say the word. I love it! Because she's 50. Mike's well, she was daily saying she was podcast. in that skit years ago yeah. when she wasn't, and now she is, and soon I will be. Uh, not for a while, a couple, couple months, a couple months left in my 40s. But you know, I don't, I don't look at uh, time. I guess I do. I don't look at numbers. Eh, I guess I do. I don't know. I, I don't know what I look at. I look at the door opening, and someone's walking in right now. Hello, my commercial. It's Madam Ruta Bega, and I brought in with me that guy from Star Trek. Oh, my, my, my. Hi. Okay. Well, that's cool. My commercial, don't be rude. I won't be rude. Hi. Nice to meet you. Oh, my, my, my. Look who else walked in. Hello there, Mike. This is Valentino, the parking attendant. It is isn't Bison Bentley. Do you know that? Mike, it th- I think it is time now to feed the FBI. Yes, the FBI. FBI went after Trump's guy. And Trump said that. He's a showboat. He's a grandstander. He was talking about the last FBI Comey guy. When he was talking about that But Here we are With the podcast picture now And here's today's podcast picture It's when I took Basil the Boxer to Benicia on Sunday And there was this dock And I I should post the video Nah I don't I tried to get Basil to walk on this dock And he was not having it It was swaying back and forth Back and forth In the waves and that dock gets hit by a lot of waves. There's a lot of water that comes through there, through the Carquinez Strait. And so there is this uh, wonderful little, all the ice plants are blooming now with their big purple blooms. And the, the hillsides are still green. So I posted that picture for you. You can find it at mikesdailypodcast.com where you can find all the past podcast pictures. And you can help out the show through the PayPal there. And you can also catch all the past shows and the bloggity blog, blog, blog. And all the other fun places and things at mikesdailypodcast.com. If you like the show, you'll enjoy the website, mikesdailypodcast.com. I'm not saying something I wrote down earlier. I'm just saying stuff off top of my head. And one of the things is Trump's tweets. Trump, when he tweets... About China And the stock market goes down What is that? Isn't that amazing How we've let a social media Basically run our stock market And now Today Mr. Zuckerberg Is going to go in And speak with politicians to try and save face. You know, we have a basic responsibility to protect people's data. And if we can't do that, then we don't deserve to have the opportunity to serve people. Save face. Drop the the, just Facebook. Used to be the Facebook. It was the Facebook, but no, no longer. It hasn't been there a long time. But So Trump was all mad when they, uh, they uh, raided their, uh, they, uh, they uh, raided 
I was getting all Chappaquiddick, but since nobody went and saw that movie this weekend, <laughs> even though every single radio station in this massive conservative Christian radio station conglomerate that I work for was advertising the crap out of that movie, nobody went to see it because the era, 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 it's something that era happened with someone who never became president years and years ago. Why would you release a movie? That I mean Okay Ted Kennedy should not have done what he did He He did He Probably should have gone to jail for what he did And I actually Might want to see this movie at some point I think the, A documentary would be A little bit more interesting Because then you got the facts You got the actual film You got the photos uh, 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 but uh, when you have bad actors trying to do, well, I don't know if they're bad actors, but if they try to, d- I am so down, da- not down. I'm down in the sense that I am on a downward slope of my enjoying movies lately. I have kind of gotten uh, jaded with the whole acting thing. I I can just see the amount of fakery involved. With making movies these days And it used to be I used to be excited about it I used to be thrilled about movie making And how you can tell a story Did I just sound all Canadian just there? A story Like Mike, Mark Zuckerberg going Sorry I'm sorry about the Facebook people of, of You know we have a basic responsibility To protect people's data And if we can't do that then no, no, we don't no, Nobody got time for that At any rate I'll have to watch the Chap- uh, a Chappaquiddick documentary is what I will watch. But er, uh, Michael Cohen, the longtime attorney of uh, Donald, Donald of the Trump, is under federal investigation for possible bank fraud. That's what this is all about. As well as wire fraud and campaign finance violations. Campaign finance violations. He... Supposedly paid off the Stormy Phoenix, the porn star that supposedly had an affair with Donald era era Trump. And now Trump says this. He said this with the audio off. He said Uh, this uh, became public this afternoon that the uh, no, wait, that's not Trump. That's Tom Hamburger. (coughs) His last name is Hamburger. Hey, I could sure go for a uh, carrot. Tom Hamburger, he is the Washington Post national investigative reporter. And the Washington Post, as you know, is like at the top of the list of things that Trump hates. Because it is owned by Jeff Bezos, who owns Amazon. Here's Tom Hamburger. FBI had raided the offices and the homes of Michael Cohen, the president's personal attorney. Very big step. The move, uh, in fact, enraged the president almost immediately. It's a disgraceful situation. It's a total witch hunt. I've been saying it for a long time. I've wanted to keep it down. We've given, uh, I believe, over a million pages worth of documents to the special counsel. Uh, they continue to just go forward. And um, also signals uh, are ramping up of the investigation into it. All right. Well, my th- whole thing is that what I heard very fascinating is that Michael Cohen, you've got to raid him because he hides stuff. And if you ask for something, it'll take 3,000 years to get it from him. He's very good at being subversive, of, of being, of hiding and he's he's an excellent lawyer, is what he does. He lawyers up, and so he, they. I think this is really the only way they could get it. Now, do I agree with ratings? The FBI having power to do that—that's a whole other thing. And it, I think it makes me mildly nauseous, as Mr. Comey said. It makes me mildly nauseous. Who once ran the FBI? FBI agents. Uh, they also raided. Michael Cohen's home, hotel room, office. They seized records about his clients and personal finances. Among the records taken were those related to a 2016 payment 
that Cohen made to adult film star Stormy Daniels, who claims to have had a sexual encounter, encounter with Trump. Hey, this may have all stemmed from that whole thing that's been blowing up lately and 60 Minutes and all of that. Hey, uh, f- oh, so Judith Giuliani is divorcing Rudy Giuliani. After 15 years of marriage, I believe she's, uh, oh, she is 63. She finally came to her senses. And I wanted to mention Paul McCartney. You know, he's still alive. That's good. But, you know, we make fun of him because he's, oh, he was in that band, the Beatles, blah, blah, blah. Beatles was so long ago. And his Beatles stuff has just out, out, just overshadowed everything. In fact, This is the 50th anniversary coming up Because on my birthday Was when the song went to number one By the Beatles Na 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 Hey Jude That one Hey Jude That went to number one But Paul McCartney had so many hit songs Afterwards Solo Did you listen to the man said And ebony and ivory and um, Oh there was one that I was thinking of. If I didn't say it I was only waiting For another moment That didn't come There's nothing There are so many songs he wrote After the Beatles uh, my, my love does it good And Oh baby I'm amazed by the way That you love me all the time And I'm not going to play any of his stuff because I want to get dinged by YouTube. So I just thought I would sing you my little little medley of Paul McCartney. I'm a McCartney medley. He had so many songs that after, of course, with with the band Wings. And his wife was in that band playing the keyboards. And people make fun of how she sang because they isolated her voice on some track. And that became notorious. But Paul McCartney, I think... I liked a lot of his solo stuff. Of course, his stuff with the Beatles will always overshadow. Okay, sad news here. I have to jump to multiple dead after a plane crash on an Arizona golf course. Two people have died. This came, it happened around 9 o'clock last night, uh, shortly after taking off from a local airport. I don't know if anybody listens to us in Arizona, but you probably have heard this story by now. Let's go to something a little more uplifting Melania Trump is trying to be uplifting. She's comforting students. Melania Trump says spilled water, even on camera in a famous house, is no big deal. It happened yesterday in the blue room of the White House, which had been set up like a classroom. The the water class fell down, and she said it was no worry at all. Yes, this may seem like the tiniest of whatevers that I just brought up, but whatever. And she was wearing red. Melania Trump. And that is distracting. Back to other Trump things. The Trump Tower smoke sensors alerted firefighters to a deadly blaze there at the 50th floor of his, uh, of that apartment in Trump Tower. Um, on Saturday... The flames triggered a system of smoke sensors, but no sprinklers. The building was built in the 80s before such sensors were required. And as we go outside a cafe anyway, we're bringing Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcastro Valley. The final thing I'd like to bring up. Amber Heard. She is all of 31. She was married to Johnny Depp for two years. All of two freaking years. And they now divorced and she says now, oh, she has donated over $1 million from that divorce settlement to a children's hospital. Yes, that's what she has done. She has been in movies like Three Days to Kill, Justice League, Drive Angry, Paranoia, and Aquaman, Amber Heard. Thank you so much for listening to today's wonderful podcast that wasn't very long. Oh, I wanted to mention one other thing. Oh, I'm getting so tired of my weekend job. 
I'm, I am not having to go in this weekend. I'm so happy. But last weekend, they basically said, don't come in. The building's being worked on by Trump. So run for your lives. No, they didn't say that. They said, because it's not owned by Trump. But they said the building's going to be worked on where the radio station is. So don't come in. And so I had the weekend off. I, I go, I planned accordingly. I planned something for Saturday. I planned something for Sunday. Then Saturday morning, via email, my boss asks us to come in for Sunday. I don't check my emails on the weekend. I have a rule. Okay, I do check them. If I'm at my weekend job, I will check my emails. But I do not at home check my emails because I feel... Emails are so work-oriented. They become so work-oriented. If you want to talk to me, text me. Um, you can call me. 336-MM-DAILY. But don't email me. On, on the weekend, I'm not going to see your emails. Uh, unless I go into work. Which I wasn't going in into work. So, I only found out about this email because one of my coworkers said, Oh, did you see the email? He wants us to come in. And I go, uh, I'm not coming in. And he goes, yeah, I'm not either. Okay. And then the same guy on Monday, the total butt kisser, he goes, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't see your email till now. I'm sorry. I missed it. What a liar. Such a liar. Oh, can we have that law and order liar thing again? I just ignored it. You know, and I've told my boss in the past. I've told everybody at that job, I don't read my emails after one o'clock in on weekday afternoons. If you need to get a hold of me, text me or email me. You've got to have boundaries. That's what I'm saying. We we have such a tech world where we suck try to suck in our employees and hold them and squish them with the freaking technology. Just like ew. I talked to a girl I mentioned on the last show uh, in Venetia who's starting a bakery. Who's probably, I, I would imagine, maybe 30. Ah, she was definitely in her late 20s. She is starting a bakery, and she said to me, I am not tech savvy. I don't care about technology. I don't care about social media. I don't care. I don't, I'm not involved. I'm here throwing the ball to my two golden retrievers in the water in Benicia. I'm a happy, happy girl. I don't want, to, I just want to bake my food. I want to bake my amazing bake, bakery items and bake them and have you eat the bakery items that I've baked. And I said, that's great. Don't, don't, you know, there's no one, there's no rule that says you have to learn technology. I like it. I like that it has, because I grew up in a world that didn't really have that. And so I, I embrace it. I love it. I, I like to use it. I like to stay on top of it. And I've noticed a lot of other people my age are into it. But then I've also seen a lot of younger people not so much into it. But then again, when I was younger, I didn't really like want to uh, fig- try and figure out why that stupid 12 o'clock is always blinking on the VHS. I didn't care. I didn't want to know. My whole point being... Do what you want. Hey, next show, we're going to have the wonderful Shelly Shuhart, Floyd the Foreman, and John Deere, the engineer. Sylvia listened to the last show and enjoyed my ABC remembrance. So I'm going to remember a little ABC right now. Oh, that's a different ABC. Um, when Smokey sings, I hear violin. When Smokey sings, I forget everything. Thanks for listening to the 1600th show. How momentous. Woo! Mike's TV podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikestvpodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye. Tomorrow.